I remember all my coaches back in the day saying, do your stretching after your training so you don't get sore. Or in another case, when I was already sore, do some stretching and it will go away. So is this supported by science? This video is an in-depth analysis of this topic, so after watching it, you will know exactly what is true and what is not. And most importantly, you will know under which circumstances a stretching session makes sense. So here we are guys, does stretching reduce delayed onset muscle soreness? But first of all, what is delayed onset muscle soreness or in other words, DOMS? DOMS is the exercise induced phenomenon in which you feel an annoying sensation or pain several hours or days after training. It can vary from slight muscle stiffness to severe pain that restricts movement. DOMS is classified as a type 1 muscle strain. It happens as a result of unaccustomed training stimulus and is precipitated by eccentric activity. Also, there seems to be a big inter-individual variability, which practically means that for some people it's very easy to get DOMS, while others, no matter what they do, experience little to no soreness. DOMS becomes noticeable roughly around 8 hours post-workout and takes between 24 to 72 hours. It usually goes away after 5 to 6 days after your initial workout. But can you reduce domes by stretching before or after training? These days you can find tons of cool down stretching routines that are based only on the idea that stretching is helpful. On the other hand, every evidence-based article and video that I see supports that studies have shown zero benefits to soreness and recovery from stretching. They all use as references the same three reviews from Herbert in 2002, 2007 and 2011. But is that all we know from the present literature? First, let's get something straight. Although muscle soreness is an important symptom of muscle damage that might present a barrier to continuum training, reductions in muscle soreness correlate poorly with the return of muscle strength, which is reported to be the best marker of recovery from muscle damage. So when we're searching for techniques that can reduce our soreness, we are searching for two different things that are somehow connected but are not completely correlated. One, a reduction in the sensation of pain or discomfort, which is measured mostly with visual analog scales. And two, hematological parameters correlated with damaged muscles, which are measured mostly with plasma creatine kinase activity and myoglobin concentration. In this case, that we examine the effects of stretching, we are searching for effects of either a single bout of stretching on these two variables or repeated bouts of stretching for a long period in relation to these two. Therefore, we are examining two different things in relation to two different outcomes. It's true that there have been studies that have found no beneficial effect of pre- or post-training stretching on DOMS. Most of these studies are included in the reviews of Herbert in 2002, 2007 and 2011. Each of these reviews is essentially an updated version of its older version. So let's take a look on the most contemporary and updated version, which is the one of 2011. In this review, authors examined 12 studies and got to the conclusion that muscle stretching, whether conducted before, after or before and after exercise, does not produce clinically important reductions in delayed onset muscle soreness in healthy adults. These findings are important, but I personally see some problems in this review. First of all, the authors themselves state that the quality score of the studies they examined was low to moderate. In addition, most of the studies are over 20 years old and the only contemporary study they conducted actually did find a benefit in stretching for soreness. Most importantly, all of the studies tested only the effects of single bouts of stretching or stretching for a short period on DOMS. It is true that contemporary beliefs about the mechanisms of muscle soreness do not suggest any means by which stretching before or after training could reduce muscle soreness that follows an exercise session. But keep in mind that these mechanisms are not fully understood. However, Herbert and colleagues comment in their review 
that if, as have been proposed by Proskin 2001, muscle soreness is due to excessive elongation of some sarcomeres within muscle fibers, it is possible that any intervention which can increase the number of sarcomeres in a series of muscle fibers or increase the length or compliance of tendons could reduce sarcomere strains and lessen DOMS. This suggests the possibility that stretching may be more effective for people who have very short muscles or if the stretching is repeated for longer periods. Thus, stretching for a prolonged period may be the answer to improve the recovery. The longest duration of stretching investigated in any of the trials to date is 12 weeks. Participants in this study reached the crazy number of 2377. The intervention consisted of 30 seconds static stretching before and after physical activity for 12 weeks. The main outcome of the study was that stretching reduced the risk of injuries related to muscles, ligaments and tendons while it also reduced the risk of bothersome soreness. Consistent with these results, Chen and colleagues in 2011 tried again a protocol with long duration. Authors concluded that static stretching and PNF training are effective in attenuating eccentric exercise-induced muscle damage and that flexible muscles are less susceptible to damage. Their findings are consistent with the one of jump beds in 2010 which actually are that stretching for a prolonged period and being more flexible are the two factors that can have a positive influence on DOMS. Also, note that these are the only studies that have tested the variables of stretching and being more flexible for a prolonged period and both found significant benefits of stretching for shortness. The same authors in 2015 also studied the effects of short duration static stretching and PNF on DOMS and again found some astounding results. In their study, they found that prior active stretching could be useful for attenuating the symptoms of muscle damage after eccentric exercise. And there are even more studies to support this idea, like Raisman and co-workers in 2005, which found a reduced sensation of stiffness and soreness after stretching. And Su Yung Lee in 2007 found that the protocol of stretching applied 24 and 48 hours after eccentric exercise reduced muscle soreness and increased range of motion at 72 hours after exercise. And last, Torres in 2013 didn't find any effects in a single bout of stretching on the levels of the main markers of DOMS but they did find that repeated bouts of stretching performed during the days following exercise may have a favorable effect on muscle stiffness which is considered to be a component of DOMS. If we put all these studies in a chronological order, the most recent studies have found positive effects that we cannot overlook. So let's summarize everything we know. There are studies that examine the effects of a single bout of stretching on DOMS and others that examine the effects of prolonged stretching and superior flexibility levels on DOMS. The studies that investigated the effects of single bouts have found contradicting results and there is insufficient evidence to draw a safe conclusion. This means that there have been studies to support both that stretching reduces and doesn't reduce shortness. On the other hand, there are only two studies that have tested the effects of stretching during a prolonged period on delayed onset muscle soreness. Both of them have found significant reduction in DOMS. This is very important evidence that we must take into account. So does stretching reduce soreness? With the data that we currently have, I would say that stretching regularly for a prolonged period can probably have a beneficial effect on DOMS, but we need more data to determine this relationship. Of course, this doesn't mean that if you stretch regularly, you will never get DOMS. Getting DOMS has to do with many different variables and most predominantly with the training that you do and your genetics. If you're searching for good ways to reduce your soreness and improve your recovery, you should first take a look at your nutrition, your lifestyle, and of course the volume, frequency and intensity of your training program. With that being said, I wouldn't use stretching specifically for the purpose of reducing DOMS or as a recovery technique, but more likely for the purpose of sustaining or increasing my flexibility, which over time will have a positive effect on my performance and well-being. So practical takeaway, maintain a flexibility session at the end of your training when you're already warm to sustain or increase your flexibility. 
This way, you're gaining the advantage of increasing your flexibility, and in the case that post-workout stretching improves recovery, you are reaping this benefit too without risking anything. If you want to learn how to perform a successful flexibility training session, you can see my flexibility science video. In summary, the most certain thing that I want you to remember is that it's not as simple as stretching doesn't reduce soreness or stretching definitely reduces soreness. There is still a lot of space for research on the effects of stretching on DOMS and recovery. In addition, recent evidence supports that stretching intervations can reduce incidence of neck pain for office workers, increase blood flow and reduce inflammation. The mechanisms underlying these events are not yet explained, but the one thing that we know for sure is that stretching has the potential to benefit many aspects of human performance and health. We just need more research to understand how. So that was the video guys, I hope you found it helpful and if you do, make sure to hit the like button. My next video about stretching will be on its role as an injury prevention strategy. If you don't want to miss out on all the new science explained videos that are coming, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.